It's my pleasure today to introduce to you Dr. Aramuga Manthram, University of Texas, Austin. You're also the Symposium X speaker. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Now your specialty is clean energy technologies. Your talk, in fact, is entitled Electric Energy Storage, Materials, Challenges, and Prospects. We'll get to the challenges and prospects in a minute, but first, let's talk a little bit about why energy storage from renewable resources is so important. Currently, the energy sources are dominated by fossil fuels, mm -hmm. which create air pollution and global warming. Also, the fossil fuel resources are limited. If we use renewable energy sources, they can eliminate the air pollution and we can get energy as long as we need. And of course, it's all about the storage part of it. So what are the challenges that we're facing in regards to storing renewable energy? The renewable energies like solar and wind mm -hmm. are intermittent. For example, in the daytime you can collect solar electricity, in the night you cannot. Therefore, in order to use them more efficiently, we need energy storage and batteries are the most convenient and efficient way of storing electricity produced by renewable sources like solar and wind. Do you see that as one of the biggest challenges then actually not so much producing it but storing it when you can as you say you can't make solar energy at night you've got to store it. Without storing we will not be the solar and wind energies will not have the anticipated impact so storage is very critical and batteries are the most convenient mm. storage technology and there are cost issues, cycle life issues, safety issues and they are all linked to severe material challenges. So we need to develop the right materials, the right manufacturing processes so that we can overcome those big challenges. Now speaking to the challenges, what are some of the prospects? What are some new technologies that we're starting to see or are now in development? As we know, the battery technology has revolutionized the portable electronics market, laptop and cell phones, for example. Mm -hmm. And when we want to use this technology either for electric vehicle or storage of electricity produced by renewable sources, the criteria changes. For example, mm -hmm. these batteries have to be large, then they have to be used for long before they have to be replaced. That means the type of materials you are going to use or the type of battery chemistry you are going to use for these technologies compared to the portable devices have to be changed or different. There certainly some challenges right there. And let's speak to the social or economic challenges that need to be overcome in addition to the technological challenges as you were just stating. For example, we have to create good awareness among the public about the consequences of environmental challenges if we keep using the fossil fuels and that will help the public to adopt electric vehicles or use solar energy compared to other energy technologies that's one mm -hmm. then right now if you take the battery technology or renewable energy generation technologies they are more expensive so cost is an important issue sure. sometimes probably at the government level policies have to be made and probably incentives have to be made available, at least in the beginning, so that once the public begins to use it, then they will become very familiar and they will adopt the technologies. Symposium X speaker, Dr. Mantram, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy this year's meeting. Thank you for having me here. Enjoy.